Hey YouTube. So guys, I got some new molds and I got some new things and I decided to start a new project. Um, I haven't been doing a lot of decor because I got really discouraged. Um, I did a couple markets and they didn't go as well as I wanted them to. And then also they had like this new statistics out well, this news story and it was like Target and Walmart and all these home stores. They're like liquidating all of their inventory because like they bought all, all this home decor and like the trends are going against people buying home decor because people want to travel and stuff now since COVID is a little bit less and blah, 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 blah. And so like I totally get it, but it's like poo because like I really enjoy making home decor. Watch me pour these two new things, y'all. I use this new dye. This new powder dye, it's not like the other black dye that I have. It left a lot of splatches, but I was trying to go for like, you know, the marble look. Um, you can really see the splatches when I pour it on this like leaf little piece. You can see it like falling off in like little powders. The other powder color that I had, it would, it wouldn't, this one just like stays to the surface. The other one I had would actually like seep into the mixture. And so when it dried, you know, it did dry within and only like the parts that didn't mix in really well with the hydrostone, you know, um, didn't come out right. But I think the next time that I try it, I'm going to try and, you know, like mix it in a little bit more. But it sucks that this color just kind of stayed on top um, because with the other powder dye that I had, I can just sprinkle it in. And it would uh, pour correctly and it would give me this awesome marble effect. So I was trying to do that with this, but it didn't come out right. Y'all, excuse my voice. I literally just woke up from a 30 minute nap and I was like, all right, let me make some more content. And so here I am just pouring that. Um, and as you can see, like it's super shiny on the top and that's new. So what happens is it's like the color it's like the water rose to the top and the color was right underneath it. I don't know. It had this really weird effect. So like if you touched it, the top part would be wet, but you could see that the color was right underneath the surface. So it's like eventually the water did rise to the top, but still like it's given more like a, like a blotchy effect other than like the marble that I was going for. And so this is the bowl after it sat for a while, you could see all the water came on the top. So I just got some of the excess off using the paper towel trick, just lying it on gently and dabbing, you know, some of the excess water off. You don't want to uh, put the paper towel too hard and you kind of want to wait until the mold sets a little before you do this. Otherwise you're going to pull all of your material out and not just the water that's risen on top. So here I am doing it with the leaf as well. Um, because the same thing happened with the leaf. So also the next time I try it, I think I might have okay, added so it. So it came out really mixture. cute and so the speedo was successful. You know, I'll get my it calculations. It came out better. really cute. So um, here I am on to the bowl. That okay. also Y'all, the bowl gave me the I exact liked to see same heart attack. Look like and if you know anything at all, just tonight or like concrete. Um, so you know, or we'll plaster check that out decor. Later. Here I am like demolding. That. You gotta wait Y until it's it took me a minute before to you demold this. Like I ain't even gonna lie. Otherwise, I was a little worried about it, and so that's why I, I was like super nervous about the smaller this. One too soon. Um, even though and I've so had, had a lot of luck with this hydrostone so material, I wanted to be really I still didn't careful with my luck. That's why I was trying to be gentle with it. I'm trying to be very careful. But it was doing the I'm poking it gently. I'm like, please don't break. Please don't break. And so I just, you know, start going around the side. I'm kind of freaking out about it, y'all. Okay, so that's everyone. why this but video eventually, is in real time I did and it's finally, quite slow because I was like get mm, the mold uh, to come down yikes, along the rim I don't want it to break on it's each already side. pretty cute you see how I got along the rim you on know, each side I just didn't want it to break and so then so, I kind of broke the seal on the inside and I just started what pulling I'm doing down like here. I would, this was one of my um, cylinder uh, molds that are also kind of like difficult to get out and I just started <laughs> gently like just like pulling it tugging it Tug it tug dug, tug it dug, dug, tug it dug, tug. And all I did was just tug it around until it slowly started to release. And I would, you see, y'all see what I was saying about this powder color? Y'all see how my fingers is black? Like, it shouldn't, you the, the color shouldn't transfer to your fingers after your mold is released. And as you can see, like just from the bottom alone, like I'm getting all that black dye on my fingers, which is a bummer because I really liked, um, 
you know, the black and white marble effect and I'm sad that I'm not going to be able to do it the way that I have been doing it. I'm going to have to figure out another way. Maybe I'll make it a liquid first and then do it like that and try it a super concentrated liquid. And so here's the mold, y'all. It came out so nice. The inside was so shiny. I was so shocked. So all of that tugging was worth it. This is definitely a really cute key bowl. So thanks for watching, you guys. Please subscribe. More videos and content coming soon every Monday this summer. Bye.